And now let's talk about toString and value of. Well, these two methods here are basically the same method. So you want to call them on your string object and they both are going to return the same result, which is the primitive value of that string object. Well, before we move on to the examples, I want to let you know that the toString and value of are both the string own methods. So they don't inherit from the object toString and the object value of methods. So if you're looking for the difference between the object toString and the object value of methods, this is not the right video. Well, now let's move on and see the examples. So I have here a const, I'm going to call it string object because I'm not going to create this string using the quotes or the backticks. I'm going to create this string with the string object. That's why I called it string object. So I'm going to use here the new keyword with the string object and then I'm going to pass in the value of the string which is hello world. Now this string here has this value here which is hello world and also all the properties and methods of the string object. So if I go and console log the string object here, my const into the console log, it will console string. So it tells me that this is an object and also it has a value that I have passed in, which is hello world. Well, when I call the to string, I'm going to get that primitive value. And also when I call string object that value of, I'm going to get the primitive value. So the same result. So for the string object to string and value of are basically the same method. Well, if you're wondering why do you need to call to string and value of in your code, I'm going to tell you, you don't need to explicitly call to string and value of in your code, but JavaScript will internally call the two methods. So basically in JavaScript, you will never need to call the to string and value of methods by yourself. Well, that's it for the to string and value of methods. Let's move on to the next method.